Hey guys. So today I'm gonna make an ice caddy for my big finder. I took this out of my kayak so I can use it for ice fishing because I only have well I got a couple of these but the other one goes in my boat and I'm not gonna use that one for it. So I usually use the one for my kayak for ice fishing. But anyway, let's go. This is gonna need some sort of caddy so I can stick in my snow sled. So I'm gonna have to figure it out. We'll have to figure out a way to get a caddy for this guy and for a battery. This big old battery right here. Because, I mean, I don't necessarily need this big of a battery. I mean, but um, I wanna be able to charge my my cell phone if I'm out there and then I want to be able to run an LED light so I can charge some of the lures that I use for ice fishing because they glow in the dark so um yeah I'm gonna try and do that so uh, let's get started Okay guys, so I've been working on this thing for quite a few hours now and I think I've gotten it to the point to where I've got all this stuff cut out and everything's pretty much almost glued up. I almost got everything glued up but um, I want to go over some of the electronic stuff that I'm going to put in there. Well not electronics but um, basically the electrical stuff. So I got a couple of LEDs and these are teardrop LEDs and I got these from Amazon and this is what they are right here. I don't know if you can see those but uh, that's what those are there and uh, you can get all kinds of different colors. These here are going to be the white so that I can charge up my um, lures for ice fishing and um, I have one of these guys here it's just a, a volt meter a voltage meter for the batteries it'll just tell you what the voltage is putting out on your battery this won't tell you how much battery life you have on your battery so I don't really recommend them but this is the only thing that I have to fill in the hole for when I get a USB I'm gonna get a USB charger that has the voltage meter built in the middle of it so it's uh, both things in one so once I get that one it'll be the same size as this one so I'm just using this one to mock it up so I'm using those and then I'm using these little switches here they're little just little 12 volt switches uh, they're uh, waterproof switches and I order these as well on uh, Amazon they're just 12 volt uh, they could be marine switches or automotive switches so uh, 
Again, I have uh, three of those that I wanted to use. One to control the lights and uh, one for the USB charger and one for the main power for the sonar. So hey guys, so I'm back again. Um, I cranked out on this thing all night. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this morning, but uh, I was able to get a lot done last night and I was able to get all the buttons and the gauge and all that installed into the panel um, and a little closer so y'all can see it. Here's the two LEDs, there's the, the voltage and then some power buttons here and here. So uh, got that all taken care of. That's what it looks like in the back end. We just gotta get uh, make up a wiring diagram so that when you're soldering all this together, it's always good to make a wiring diagram because when you do that, when you solder it together, then you're less uh, likely to make a mistake, and then you have to go back and desolder it and and then do it again. So draw yourself a diagram of how you're gonna wire it, how you're gonna want it. To Hey guys, Iggy here, and guess what? I'm done with the ice caddy, man. I've been waiting to get this thing done for quite a while now. Uh, it took me quite a while. It took me maybe about a couple weeks to build it. Uh, but uh, here it is. Uh, let me fire this bad boy up. We've got the main power switch right here. we got another switch right here, which controls the LEDs. Those are pretty bright. And then there's this other button that will control this uh, voltage meter for now. Uh, and as I said before, I only used it to mock up uh, this whole thing uh, just because I'm waiting on the USB charger which is going to fit in this hole. So I'm going to be taking this out and installing the USB charger on there so I can charge up either a camera or a cell phone or whatever or whatnot. So there's a switch for that. And um, here's the compartment there for the lures. Just open those up, get those out, and uh, with that, uh, you can uh, just put that there, fire up the light, wait a few seconds or a couple minutes or whatever, however long it, it, you need to uh, charge up your lure. So uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to go use this thing. I mean, I've been waiting. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that. Um, and then uh, that, of course, will slide right back in there, just like that. And um, it, it uh, holes in there I got a magnet in there that's holding that back so it won't fall out when you're traveling with it so uh, let's go ahead and turn this on and uh, we'll wait for that to come up so um, yeah I like this thing I, I can't wait to go use it I mean it, it turned out nice I sealed it uh, I've gotten the holes drilled out for this thing it was just um, just got it done you know I just I was just waiting and waiting but I mean watching paint dry ugh, quite uh, you know uh, frustrating but uh, sometimes you can use a a, um, a dryer a heat gun to help you with the process just uh, switching this over to simulate Hit OK go back and we will hit the flasher mode and there it is we have we are ready for ice fishing and as you can see it's still tilted you can still turn it or whatever whatever the case may be if you need to but uh, yeah there it is I love this thing but um, yeah there it is, my Ice Caddy Sonar, or Sonar Caddy, however you want to call it, Ice Caddy. I've just been calling it an Ice Caddy, but uh, there it is, Ice Sonar Caddy. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do. If you need one, get a hold of me. I'll make you one.